Oh. And hello. Welcome back to the group Let's Play with uh, Swoody Terror, Cosmic, and myself. And uh, I am back. Uh, it's been it's been a bit of a break. Um, I uh, well, I spent quite a bit of time this last week trying to get this base right here, uh, trying to get it back onto the server. Uh, I encountered numerous problems, unfortunately. Um, many of those being the fact that, uh, well, I don't know if it's just our server or if it's uh, in general, but uh, you can't paste anything on that server right now. So you typically have to get the files offline and then do it. But I tried it offline on a copy of the server files. That didn't work because, first of all, this thing was too big. I mean, it goes all the way up there. And um, it also, um, I just you couldn't place it in the correct location. And then I actually broke the base up into three parts, tried that. And um, yeah, it doesn't even, it doesn't go because as you well remember, I mean, so in this base, I've obviously spent quite a bit of time, uh, you know, getting a rid of so you can see everything goes underneath so like th this goes in in you know you can see the rocks and stuff there goes into the mountain so all of that stuff dug out um, and all of that behind there there's some you know there's some uh, some well I actually put some walls up now but uh, that is also and you can see the the pieces of rock sticking out there uh, actually I need to clean out this I ended up having to uh, because I, I actually, on the, even on the single player, ended up having to move or repaste some things. I think some files went bad. Uh, it's been it's been an ongoing adventure, I should say, uh, that hasn't necessarily ended uh, well. So I'm still on my single player machine. I I was not able to get anywhere else. But I uh, think I can give you a quick rundown. Um, I have to try and remember exactly what what I had. Um, before in the last episode um, but uh, I added um, a door it's basically uh, let's call it a ship airlock so I added this hanger here uh, it doesn't react to me but it reacts uh, to a ship actually let me take this ship quickly and see if I can get uh, it to, oh darn I forgot so also during this time um, there was uh, an update of some sort uh, we use the um, tiered uh, armored thrusters uh, mod, and the, er, the the mod is still there. The mod still loads. The pieces are still there. Uh, it's all it's all still there. Everything's still there. But uh, like this, I don't know. If, I don't even know what I had before. But let's just say, oh, this obviously I'm going to be in the way now. Um, yeah, nope, can't place it. Um, oh wait, I need the small one like that. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, whatever. You can see this. I mean, these things. Um, turn my lights on. Sorry. So that uh, these these little tiered things, um, and they all just disappeared. That's all gone. I remember. I think I mentioned that actually in one of my last episodes. But that's obviously why I can't fly that thing anymore. Uh, but anyways, you go down through here, and then uh, actually, yeah, never mind. So I've got a sensor over there, and I also have a sensor on the outside, because I was thinking, well, uh, I mean, this is a really large space. You saw actually, I stuck a hangar door over there uh, so to the to the long tunnel so that uh, you know you can depressurize this space and that'll still be that'll still be good um, but yeah if I go outside quickly come on I've been having some weird lag issues every once in a while by the way, I did get a, another 360 uh, millimeter radiator uh, for my my water cooling system, and now actually this my uh, everything's nice and cool. It works really well. But you can see, so this front one there's a sensor that's sitting right up top there on the inside. So if you come in here with the ship, uh, those doors open and you can get inside. So you just you just depressurizing that small uh, space. So that's cool. Um, I've also uh, ended up having to. Like I said, things got screwed up when I had to I had to re paste something. It's just I don't know. Just, I had issues constantly. Whatever. Uh, I ended up just using the um, tool and I put these back in. It kind of looks uh, maybe a little bit different, but I stuck these. I put this ground back, as it were. 
Um, what else has changed? Promise I don't remember everything I told you last last time. I did remodel uh, this space and uh, made it bigger windows and so on. And I used to have an air vent over here somewhere, I think, and I ended up sticking that uh, over here behind uh, like one of those uh, window vents. So there's a there's a vent over there that's uh, that's for de that's depressurized, set to depressurized. So it will use the low oxygen that I have in this environment. Uh, and it will, you know, obviously use that. Um, then over here, I'll go in here quickly. I'm going to show you the thing. My apologies, like I said, I don't remember. I, I, it's, it feels like it's been a really long time. But um, so this space I enclosed, um, kind of put this catwalk thing up here, stuck in a window, so you can kind of look into the into the the tunnel over there. Um, I uh, put some hanging catwalks over here which I kind of like this this is a I'm trying to remember was the more catwalk catwalks mod or something but um, you know it gives you these uh, well it gives you like these angled uh, little uh, catwalk things and it gives you these ones which have the, the little uh, you know, cables that like, it's hanging from which is kind of cool I like it um, anyways going this way um, to the back to the uh, to the tunnel there you go. So the tunnel is complete, obviously. Need to go and clean up some some stuff there. I had some windows up top there to make it a bit more interesting. Um, I uh, halfway through here, as I found, I was working here at one point, and I needed. Uh, right now, my hydrogen run, hydrogen is running low, so good idea to quickly uh, grab some stuff here. All right, and uh, anyway, so yeah, so I can get hydrogen and all that kind of stuff. It's nice. Uh, I like how you can see the space is obviously pressurized, which is kind of cool. Um, again, I don't, I, yeah, I don't remember, but I, I finished off the, the connection here between these two spaces. I, I really like it. I, yeah, this, so this ends up not actually being a hangar so much as a tunnel, which is okay. It still gives you three, you know, spaces. You've still got all of this. I you know, flattened out this space a little bit. I added a few more batteries. Um, so each of these different areas are kind of self-sufficient. I didn't actually do anything much in here yet. Um, I don't know. I don't necessarily like the look of the catwalk thing there. So I might redo that at some point. If you have any ideas, please co put them in the comments. It's always nice. Uh, community build, basically. Um, come on. There's that lag again. Every time I go through those doors, I wonder if it's something to do with the doors. All right. So back here, uh, you can see I just... well. Like I said, I had to redo the a lot of the uh, tunneling out, so I just used the voxel hands thing. I just made it work. It was really a lot of work, man. Even even that, after doing all that, it was still a lot of work. And I, and I did it like two or three times, trying to do it on the server, and just I never got it right. But um, this space, I think, is is uh, not, is well. It's obviously all done. Again, I had that in the last episode. So moving all the way up, I love this. This is, this is, I know, I can't say it too much. To me, this was really uh, fun. Uh, this whole thing what has been really fun. Oh, left the lights on. So this one I ended up putting the engines back on. Um, turn the lights off. There you go. Um, I ended up using that to grind away the um, uh, the. the conveyors that were going down there. Again, I don't remember if this was added, if I added this, if I, I should actually go watch my own my own last video, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Um, but this um, added some hydrogen storage, so it's kind of out of the way, and if it, you know, if you have a incident, it won't damage everything else. Um, and obviously, if a ship were to come here, need to be refueled, whatever, that's good. I need to add some more solar panels. But now, uh, I think the next uh, task that I'd like to complete, so I haven't quite decided where to do it yet. Maybe that's a good spot. Um, I'm looking to put in, um, now granted, we don't have actual uh, dish, you know, uh, satellite dishes, but for the sake of the story, um, 
we're you know I'm I'm stranded here on this planet. I don't know anyone else alive on the planet, so I don't I don't know if Terra made it. Uh, I know Cosmic and um, Swoody um, ended up you know going to uh, the the dry planet that we that we stopped at, where I was still basically uh, at a bunch of cryo lag and tired and whatever, uh, which is oh goodness, hmm. just thinking about that makes me tired. Um, so. The idea now is, I guess, that I'm supposed to be trying to make, uh, trying to make a uh, satellite dish of some sort to be able to communicate, you know, the distance between um, this planet and the uh, and the dry planet, and to be able to contact those guys, hoping that they're doing the same thing on their side. Now, I understand as far as the game goes, there is no such thing. I know there are some mods and stuff that give you kind of longer range, like comms and air antennas and all that kind of stuff. But for the sake of this game, of this um, adventure that we're on, um, I want to build some kind of a satellite dish, and I was thinking of maybe putting it like in a hollow, either either that or build it like I don't know, maybe like up from over here somewhere. I'm not sure. Uh, the other uh, uh, issue to decide or to figure out. So you know, just building something like this can be quite tedious if you don't remember the pattern you know if you're trying to do it you know all the way around uh, so that's something to keep in mind but I was thinking something similar I, I, I've seen some things online um, where people um, basically have something just with a bunch of pieces and so on so okay well let me think about this for a minute and I'll get something started and then just try to understand try to decide where to put this thing. I'm thinking it should be pointing upwards and uh, yeah and that's really it I guess so I'll be back when I've uh, got an idea in my head. Ha! It'll take a while. Alright so um, I just did this little uh, pathway thingy. I still have to put uh, do the same thing with the windows. All around it is railings but it does give you a path up and I ended up having to use the trick of putting the, uh, the stairs like upright like that so you get you know the uh, the flat angle over there the one by one angle over here and then the one by two angle over here which gives you basically almost a vertical uh, stair and that gets you all the way to the top now once up here, uh, obviously now I'm still going to put another stair in here, I'm going to decide though. Still trying to figure out the dimensions of the beginning uh, base of this thing, the, the, the like the, you know, the, yeah, the foundation I guess. I um, actually want to, I want to remove some of this top and just level it out a little bit. Um, I was thinking, looking at this, I was thinking like, so, if that's the middle, I'm thinking I'll kind of walk up, in, like kind of have a, a doorway that end, you kind of end, walk into the um, into the dish. So one, so one, two, three. So this is seven. One, two, three. Yeah, uh, seven by seven, maybe. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I think maybe I'll make it a little bit larger than that. Um, maybe start it out by nine. I don't know to look. So, think. Um, make it nine. There's two more here. Two more, right? Okay, that's two that side. I don't know, it's still. I mean. That gives me a nine by nine space. And maybe make it, yeah, okay, make it two more. So make it 11, right? So I go that way, two more. I go this way, wait. Nine, 10, 11 would be two more. Okay, well, then whatever this is then. 
Two more on either side. I wonder if that's going to make it look weird. I'll have to see. So this way by two. And this way by two. So like this. Okay, so is that too big? And do I have it right? Is the question. Let me come back. Whoops. So dun, dun, dun. Okay, that's 11. So 11 by 11? Is that really 11 by 11? I'll have to check it. But anyways, I think that looks... Let me go further away to make sure I've got enough hydrogen. I do. Okay. That's something I keep forgetting to look at. Um, yeah. I think it looks good. And then just uh, get rid of some of this... Uh, dirt in the middle, fill in the rest of this with blocks. Uh, probably won't do it without. No, nope, I need to clear out that first. Um, come on. See, just like every once in a while, just I, th I know they said there's some issues with some speed right now. I wonder if that's related because it just suddenly, like, ah, steel plate. Okay, it just stops. That's another good question I have is should I bring a conveyor? up here, which I'm not sure I need it up here, do I? Yeah, probably not. Alright, so then I could do a, maybe just a regular stair like this guy. Like that. It gets me kind of walking in, so if I do like this, I could maybe even put like a, it's a regular one of these doors here. Oh, come on. Like that. Oh, I don't have. Okay, fine. So I put the door there. Um, clear out this space. This belt bump, whatever. And then um, start figuring out how to make the actual dish part itself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get that done, and I'll uh, I'll come back afterwards. All right. Okay, so, um, dun, 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 dun. I had to come back and get some more hydrogen and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of realized this little, um, this nanite uh, control factor over there was a little lonely, so I gave him, gave him a little brother. I've got to still rename him, give the good names. And then I, I don't know, I kind of like the look of these large, um, azimuth, uh, cargo containers, so I stuck a couple of them here, kind of thinking, well, you know, I don't know, I mean, I know it doesn't really matter in pet space engineers, but if you were storing goods and stuff, you, know, you wouldn't have to transport it a uh, kilometer down, you know, to the storage that's down there, and it makes this space a little bit more, you know, self-sufficient, etc., etc., so that's cool. Then I was, I mentioned this before, and I was like, you know what, yeah, I, I feel like putting up a conveyor. I went all the way up here. It's kind of fun uh, getting these little weird angles. We actually need a, a conveyor that goes like at an angle I think so you can kind of just go straight up at an angle instead of having to do you know dunk 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 but got this all the way up there so now I do in fact have that and I'd be able to kind of go in here and out and do whatever so I was thinking well if this was a like a manned type thing and somebody was up here having to um, you know I guess be here you know to man the satellite or the dish or whatever I don't know or maybe it was used for more than just communications or whatever. Um, then maybe there would be a space down here that actually contained like a cryo chamber and maybe a cargo container so you can get parts and you know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, try to make stuff up as I go. Now right now I have this as a just a square. I ended up making it 15 by 15. And um, I think what I might actually do is I might uh, try now to make this kind of a little bit more rounded to be to form kind of the base. Sorry, moving my mouse around. My daughter said I shouldn't do that. Um, 
make it and make it like this bottom area maybe an airtight space that you know, you can habitate if you will and then start going up from there you know so that's what my goal is right now um, the problem as always and maybe I can just build it on top of here and kind of go from there but so if you take actually let me let me pick a different color something bright just for for the purposes of, of pasting it's always easier to be able to see so if I take one of these guys that's what I normally do anyways I kind of do oh, oh wait wrong way wait I'm going completely wrong now hang on um, okay losing my mind wait no this is really and I'm confused now let me go and look so if I'm sitting over here and I want to go that way what would I do if I did this obviously that's wrong that's well oh what really why oh because I'm, I can't come in from that angle ah. Uh, I could put a half block there. Okay, yeah, that could work. So if I did something like this, um, and then like this, and then maybe. All right, I'm not sure if you. Yeah, that was on the video or not, but the cats were chasing each other, so there was uh, lovely all kinds of background noise. Funny how every time I, you're trying to record, there is always something going on. Anyhow, so if I do it like that, we basically have three blocks like that, and then uh, put a half block over. Oh wait, what? Oh, wrong way. Half block like that, right? Should give me kind of a well, lack of not really round, but round-ish kind of look. Problem I'm not sure about is if I'll make that angle. So now. I go back here maybe and do this stick in that guy there and then put in wait why am I getting so confused why is this oh that's because I'm okay never mind that ah and then that okay good and then put in one of these one of these and then another one of there's no the wrong way ah too far how about that that kind of looks round-ish doesn't it I mean not perfect but I mean given the dimensions that I've chosen this would give me something that looks kind of roundish and then obviously on the on the inside I would do something like this which would obviously level it out and uh, what I do here I do the same there you know actually maybe what I should do instead would be something like this this one here uh, da -da. Boom that continue on with this and then oh and then here do that oh wait no I can't do that oh hang on <laughs> uh, I love the half block I really want to use the half block oh I do need to use the half block <laughs> sorry ignore that so we go here do, do like that okay so that would give me a, a nice even space there and do the same thing here and then here I would end up with what one of these ah come on like that wait did I see that's what okay so I got that perfectly straight wait did I where did I screw up so that's the same oh I got this wrong okay yeah so this would then end up going like that get rid of this because clearly that's not what I wanted I'm on lag again. So back to that guy. Does that look about right now? So now I've got this, yeah, here. So I got this kind of a straight look there, that look there. That gives me that. And if I then get rid of the extra bit that I have on the base there and make it kind of the same 
the same series of blocks and repeat this to run all the way around, I would get something that approximates a circle. Then I can maybe build that up, I don't know, maybe two layers, or I mean two, two in total, uh, cover the top of it, make this area, you know, airtight, maybe stick a uh, air lock right here, like that, and then, you know, put a wall going that way and connecting up with the uh, the shapes of that thing. Which, oh, actually some windows would be nicer, yeah. So you come in here, you get into the airlock, you get into this interior space. I mean, I suppose I could make it one high, but I, li I like the, the two height. And then actually what I was thinking is maybe do this one this high, maybe put one higher one that is a set of windows, and then the next layer, again, wall. I think that would actually look a bit more pleasing. Actually, in fact, I should... You know, this is why sometimes you have to design stuff. Um, maybe I should duplicate this onto the bottom and, um, you know, maybe cut that out and do it there and then have this thing all be windows, have it be windows all the way around. I think that would look actually quite, quite cool, assuming I can get all the windows to line up and match and be the way they're supposed to, which I think I can, but... All right, I'm going to try and do that, and I think I'll come back once I have the base then, which would be the beginning of the, the dish. And then I'll have to just do the same kind of layer, go out a few, another layer up, out a few, layer up, and so on, and make the dish, well, probably the dish is going to be quite large. Um, but then I'll have a dish, and I'll be able to try to communicate with um, Cosmic and Shwudi, assuming that they've actually been able to, you know, um, get their stuff done. Uh, Cosmic uh, apparently likes his um, his liquor, so eh, who knows? Maybe they maybe they're just having a good time over there, partying all the time. I don't know if they're working or what the deal is. I guess I'll have to find out if I can get a hold of them. After this, though, uh, I'd have to figure out to get a ship to go all the way up to there, and then find a asteroid to get some uh, platinum, and then probably build a bigger ship that has jump drives on it, so I can reach the can't even see that planet from here. Nope, not available. Man, I wish there was a way to keep your view level, because this is kind of... I don't know. Maybe for you this is disorienting. But, uh, yeah. I will be back after this, and I'll think I'm going to end the episode when, you know, just showing you the finish... I mean, the first layer of this. And maybe come back the next episode with the... with the completion of this... Um, of this dish, so... That's the plan. Uh, again, talking too much, I will be back. Alright, so um, I added some glass on here. I'm not finished yet, obviously, but I got this thing done. Well, I mean, the bottom portion. I don't know if I like it yet. I uh, maybe just have to look at it for a while and see if it I don't know, tickles my fancy or not. Um, but for now, you know, you come in like this. <clears throat> Open the door, you can click on the right thing. And then in here you have O2 high, helmet off. Uh, you have this kind of a little view of the area down. You get a nice uh, kind of a panoramic view, 360 view of everything else. And uh, yeah, and then there's obviously there's cryo chambers here. So what I need to do is, because um, obviously, I mean, assuming that you need to go upstairs and maintain the whatever stuff, the antennas or whatever, I suppose. Um, I'd probably put some stairs going up from here and then I mean, another um, airlock over there and then build the... Uh, you know the dish from there. Um, I love it. I uh, think it looks nice. However, it's very blocky. Uh, so if you have any ideas uh, how to do this better, uh, I would love to hear them. Uh, obviously, uh, my goal is to improve, um, and uh, you know you can help me with that. So um, on this lovely view that we have of our fledgling, well, it's not actually fledgling. Sorry or rather made massive base, I guess, if you will, by now. Um, 
If you like what you've seen so far, obviously please click the like button. Um, if you have any comments, I really would appreciate that. It would be nice to know somebody's actually watching these and um, you know finding some enjoyment out of it. And um, subscribe, obviously, um, and uh, go watch the, uh, the other guys, their videos as well. There's lots of things going on. So yeah, um, again, as always, thanks for watching.